Schlebin. <laughs> All right, don't come on here acting up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all, what's up? We are back with another episode. I am B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And this is the Know For Sure podcast where we talk about healing, growing, evolving, having the tough conversations with millennials oh and people. And <laughs> the I gotta bang my shit up in my bed. I let y'all know. And our relationship of 20 years, not only romantic relationship, but platonic relationships like me and Megan's. My girl. Now back to you. Let's get into it. <laughs> we have a guest today. This has been my friend for years, y'all. Like one of the funniest people on the internet. So, funny. so talented from stand up to music to comedy to just being fly. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's That's a, all I have to say. It's some more on the list. No, <laughs> what else is on the list? Just a bunch more shit you could you could do. All I got, right. got faith in you. And uh do you want me to call you Ben the Don? No, just, hell no. Okay. Ben. Ben. Uh, ben. Ben's here, guys. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. This is Megan's first time meeting him. I know, person. but it feels like Yeah. I've been on you, I man. I know. He are we already getting into it? Yeah. They already arguing like they've been yeah. friends. For, <laughs> see, he already boy. like. Don't she talking about? Don't jump up. We been cool too now. Nah, <laughs> we been nah. You will get jumped. We you straight, will, nigga. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you will get jumped in here. Okay. We had okay. to get him on here, have yeah. a little fun. I'm so excited that you wanted to come on. Like any guy that, that wants, wants to, to come be on, on our podcast. show, we love that. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I love it. It's absolutely <laughs> my thing. If you want to talk, we can talk. If no, we can drink. You like drink? Let's oh, drink. yes. Let's cheers. Cheers. That drink is nasty. I made the drink for B, and you made nasty. <laughs> Let's do it. But who we won? We mixed it by won? Megan and I voted. The best fucking friend. And, I know, I know. Period. Megan did win. But Cheers. Good. So good episode. Cheers. Eyes. Yeah, Cheers. Look in the eyes. Look in the eyes. No bad sex. No, no bad sex. For seven Y'all will come up with anything. <laughs> Niggas will come up with anything. You got to look at my eyes <laughs> and you ain't going to fuck no holes for six months. For six months. <laughs> Your dick ain't going to get hard no more. <laughs> <laughs> and then guess what? You say that niggas be like eyes, nigga eyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga stop locking eyes with everybody. All right, nigga, the superstition over. Uh, no, seriously. Like, all right, quit looking at me. Quit looking at me. You're staring. What's up, y'all? So, y'all? do you actually watch the podcast? Be honest. Um, I I, I ain't gonna lie. It ain't nothing. I go turn on because I'm a dude. But right, okay. Okay. Why? Be on, because. I, I don't even like watching TV, nothing. I don't okay, watch I nothing. That. You know what I'm saying? But if it, if y'all yeah. be on, I'm definitely tuning in. I'd be like, rewind it. You know what I'm saying? I got a, my girl. She be. Yeah. Put it on. Put it hey, back. Journey. Hey, Journey. Hey, Journey, girl. Come on, cuz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, stop fucking playing. Here with y'all me. go. Bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a nigga still play. Like, hey, man. Shout play. out to Dallas, Texas, man. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Dallas. That's my hometown. Ben, where are you from? I'm from Memphis. 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 Yeah. You Shout sound like you're from Memphis. Sometimes. No, G L O to the O B. Big bro. <laughs> Get me out of here, <laughs> nigga. Right <laughs> with you. <laughs> you sound like Glorilla. Yeah, yeah. Glow from the base. She from the base. She like like 15 minutes from where I'm from. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. okay, okay, okay. So, so how did... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you live at now? I live in Miami. I've been living in Miami for like 10 years. Wow. He be posting mm-hmm. his condo. I be like, this nigga made it. Made Woo. it. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Tell us how you got there though, from Memphis to Miami. What you about to say? Bro, B is crazy. I was, I was just like, bro, we like. I remember when we started. Like, B, B took. We just started stand up. Yeah. Me, you, and Desi Banks. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. yep. I'm yep. the only nigga who who veered off a yep. little bit, but I still we still all involved in comedy. But like, it's crazy to see where we was. And versus where, we're at, where now. we're at now, yeah. God is so real, yeah. and God is yeah. so good. Tell them your journey, though, your story. Right, like, if so they don't look. know Ben, who is Ben? Where are you from? <coughs> All right, so my name is Ben. I, I come originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but my parents is like in the military, so I moved around a lot. Oh wow! But like between Memphis and Jacksonville, Florida, where I moved my tenth grade year, and then I, that's how I got to like Miami and, and FIU, yeah, University yeah. Of Miami. In state tuition, I had a full ride academic scholarship to uh to University of Miami and FIU. So look at you. Um, yeah, you played. You played. Huh? Did you play sports? Uh uh-uh. uh 
I was gonna I was gonna hoop, but you know how that go. Oh. <laughs> a lot of shit was more important at the time. You didn't know how that go. Um, but yeah, I had a full ride academic academic scholarship. Academic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. No, got you. Got you. He like I'm smart. I'm smart. Yeah, I but didn't, like yeah. You don't, you know, nigga be like, eh, nigga, you didn't hoop or play. No, it's some smart of us yeah, out there it's now. Smart. <laughs> it's some, it's smart some smart of us. of us out there now. But yeah, so um, <laughs> I graduated from FIU. Um, po- political science. Shout out to all my poli sci majors. Um, Political science. That's didn't use none of that shit. <laughs> like, shout out to all my poli yeah, baby. This to thing Polisar, over here talking man. about slap, slap. Slap being in my head. A wise man can play fool, fool can't play wise. Ooh. All right. So, um, that's how I live my life. I act up all day, but uh, I like that. Just know I that, like that. Just know that a degree there. A wise man can play a fool. But a I like fool that. can't play wise. You think I'm dumb. Ooh. Yeah, you think I'm, I graduated um, summa cum laude, so that's top fifteen wow. percent of your whole graduating class. Man, but um, talking like, you shit, been playing, man. you been playing the fool for a minute. Yeah, like, I'm gonna keep playing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep playing it. Cause, Cause I it, just know you as a fool. Exactly, but it, it worked better for your benefit. You know what I'm saying? When, when people um underestimate you, like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it works in your benefit. Yeah. Always, always. It's never a time where it doesn't work in your benefit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I graduated there, and it's like. Where else am I gonna go? Like I live in Miami. I didn't have no money coming out of college. Like I was struggling to pay fifteen hundred dollar rent, mm-hmm, but I was mm-hmm. running around with Odell Beckham all over the world. So how did y'all mm. meet? Because uh, he was supposed to go to uh, University of Miami. Y'all, that's like a brother, brother. Yeah, that's my Best brother, friends. brother. Now he was supposed to go to University of Miami, but he ended up going back to LSU where his parents and everything went. But when we were doing our college visit, that's what we met at. Oh, okay, you know, I love. Clicked. I will say that like I love seeing their relationship because it reminds me of me and yeah. you. Yeah, it's pretty and, much like, like yeah, how you support him when he does things and he how he supports you. Bro, he supports like, me with your more music. than anybody. Yeah, that's like, the same. It's like yeah. I love yeah. that. I love seeing that in males. Yeah, because yeah, it's needed. Yeah, it's, it's not common either. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's and it's so funny for him to be like a, a, a big superstar. It's like. Anything that I ever like, I don't be wanting him to like support me. Come on, bro. He's like, like, I'm about to sell these two like, socks. Yeah, come on, bro. Like, I'm, you're like, bro, I got them on for you. Like, bro, you don't got to do that. But I appreciate everything. Oh, he like, yeah. showed, he literally showed me the world. I was on tour with Drake like mm. two times overseas. Yeah. And staying in all these hotels, we find private jets. I don't got $10,000 in my name. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's the type of stuff you got to like remember. But that's, that's the importance of relationships. Sometimes it's not about the number in your bank account. Can you have relationships yeah. with, with people yes. that can take you places and expose and ex- you to and that? Expose you to things, and then that, know that you got somebody with you that got your back always, no matter always. what. No matter what. But that lets you know that that was possible. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. I You're like, it. I'm not going for nothing it less was tangible. than this. It was tangible. Yes. Yeah, like I yeah. really saw mm-hmm. real deal money like over the world. Like I've seen a lot of shit with this dude from yeah. Vegas to yeah. like just all type of shit. I was at Michael Rubin house for Fourth of July. Like the all white part. I don't, what That's the wild. Fuck am I doing it? Wild. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Wild. But like, it, it, no entourage uh, is allowed to come. No yeah. security. None of that. Like, yeah. you come to Michael Rubin house, it's just whoever you yeah. is, whoever mm-hmm. got the motion, it, who in there. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, I'm, it I'm all just takes super, you everywhere. I'm, yeah, I'm everywhere. just super appreciative. So like, when my business and all my stuff started popping off, last year I gave him 50k cash for his birthday. I love that. I think I saw that you on did. Instagram. Like, I told him I got on some Timberlands, but like it was when in he opened box. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seen one shoe, and then he opened the wrapper, and it was fifty racks. Yeah, you know but to saying? be able to do that to back, be, for, exactly. to pour back into him, yeah. even though it's fifty racks to him, it's like it's fifty, Not, but it's like yeah, but bro, still, he know what that is. The to purpose me. of it, exactly. Yeah. It's all yeah. about the message. So this year, by the time this get out, his birthday tomorrow. So like. Yeah. I got him a Rolex, a Chrome Heart Rolex, and a um, and like a ten thousand dollar ring. He he pretty much got me this one, so I got him the same one, but Aww. in white gold. So. All right, you guys, really, really quick before we go on with the show, we about to put y'all on to something like we always do here at KFS. All right, Bestie, I got a question for you. Megan, what is your favorite food? I love Thai food. Okay, so would you eat Thai food from a gas station? I would not. I don't think a (laughs) gas station is the place to trust Thai food. That sounds like food poisoning is waiting to happen. Okay, exactly. So finding the right Thai food makes all the difference, right? The same goes for finding the right doctor. That's why I love ZocDoc, and you should too. ZocDoc is a free app that shows your doctors who are patient reviewed they take your insurance and are available whenever you need them on zogdog you can find every specialist under the sun whether you're trying to straighten out those teeth fix an achy back get a mole checked out or anything else zogdog has you covered
covered. Listen, you guys, because I have kids, I love to go on ZocDoc and look at the reviews from other moms to make sure they got what they need and they also love those doctors. Yes, with ZocDoc, you can find and review local doctors, guys. Read verified patient reviews from the real people who made real appointments. Now, when you walk into that doctor's office, you're all set to see someone in your network who gets you. Every month, millions of people use ZocDoc and I'm one of them. It's my go-to whenever I need to find and book a quality doctor. Girl, me too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash KFS and download the ZocDoc app. Then start your search for the top rated doctors today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash KFS. ZocDoc.com slash KFS. Yes, you guys. Check them out. Back to the show. I, I gotta just be trying to like that. reciprocate. That's gonna be us. Reciprocate the energy. It's you know like what I got I'm you a car, and um, I got you a house, and I got you a jet, and I definitely <laughs> got you a yacht, and then I got uh, you. I get the put world, me in there too. Ben island. want something. <laughs> ben, Ben want something. Too. Ben, <clears throat> Johnny, <laughs> <laughs> Odell, Jesus. Odell Beckham, please. <laughs> Buy him something. Oh, that's beautiful though. I love, yeah. I love y'all. I love seeing y'all together. How I was love, it? And y'all have fun. How you was do. it seeing? Because like me and her, I've seen her do like her hardest times being canceled on the internet mm-hmm. and all that. Like, how was mm-hmm. it for you or how is it for you to see when he like struggles with his his uh injuries and yeah, like, yeah. Um, that's, and, that's like being there tough. emotionally? Y'all yes. gotta y'all gotta understand it's um like he noticed, he's more emotional than I am. Okay, like, okay. way more emotional than I okay. am. Okay, I'm the I'm the friend that's like, bro. I, don't... Mm-hmm. I could show no emotion. I might. What's your sign? A Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, so like, bro, like, like mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not with all the emotional shit. I'm not sitting mm-hmm. here trying to talk about feelings and none of that, bro. Wow. We handle it, like I tell you what it is, and that's like yeah. that's what we got to go with. Yeah. Like it is what it is, but. He he, like make it be like, bro. You don't have to. You don't have to be tough, and you don't have to be mm. this, that, and the third. He lets you oh, says that. Yeah, he tells mm. me that. You don't have that. to be this, that, and the third all the yeah. time, bro. You can. You my best friend. You are supposed to be able to like release that to me yeah. and do all that. I'm like, bro. I don't. I don't steal. Mm-hmm. I'm not, bro. I'm not on that, bro. I'm not trying to be on no but, emotional ledge. Do you think you'll ever get to the point where you kind of like are more nope. vulnerable? And we had open? times. Okay, 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 has, okay. It, maybe like once or twice a year. Got but you. But he got to, like, damn near, beat like, it out of beat me. it out of me. Where do you and think that comes from? You just, like. From me? Yeah, Because my dad, like, I, I grew up with military parents. Got and, like, you. It was more military. And imagine being yeah. the only child, and besides my friends, and I hooped with, like, I played basketball, football, and track. But when I come home, I'm in grown-up conversations every day. Mm. People don't realize that about only I'm, a only yeah, child. I'm my mom's that, only you? child. But, so you don't have anyone that is on your with, level yep. to yeah. relate to. So yep. you relate to adults. You're, uh, relate to adults. You eventually start relating, understanding their their daily Hot, problems yep. and like yep. what they deal with and how they how they like break down information and process information. You also learn how to self soothe, almost yep. like you mm-hmm. deal with your emotions yourself. Mm-hmm. So you don't bring it to them. Because like when you have a sibling, you can be like, man, my mom fucking yeah. nerves, man. Wow. Da, da, da. But when you don't have that, you go to your room. By yourself. Wow. Exactly. And you in your mind. And you in your head. Yeah. No yeah. You know no what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's the only the child mm-hmm. life. I think people don't take that into consideration. Wow. It's like, a real thing. Yeah. How you communicate with somebody. Like when you're dating somebody, that should be a factor. Mm. Like, do you have siblings? Oh, you don't have siblings? Okay. So I should know that your communication yeah. style is going to be a little different. Wow. Because you it's, know yeah. how to self soothe. Wow. Yeah. Facts. You feel yeah. like that you're. Um, in like romantic relationships too, do you get vulnerable with like the person you're dating or? It takes a long time. Wow. A long ass time. Wow. Like I won't, uh, if I'm with you and we have a great relationship, I won't tell you I love you until like year two. Jeez. Wow. Not that you don't feel it. Yeah, you not that don't... I don't feel it. I can't verbally say that to you because mm. I don't, I don't want to make myself vulnerable in that change some like, some mm. shit. I have to like really know that person and you don't know somebody until like year two. Yeah, it does take a, a And even then, you even still, then, even you, then. You might not know a motherfucker until year five. Like, yeah. Or yeah. Really yeah. living with them. Right. You don't know nobody. You don't know, know nobody. Them. Until you live with until them, you, you don't do know life nobody. With them. Yeah. Like, you don't know nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. yeah. Living with somebody Bills, is like, all that. I'm mm-hmm. talking about how do you. Yeah. You can be fine all day. You flush that damn toilet. All that fine shit out the window. Why that toilet ain't flushed? Bad bitch this. Bad bitch that. Yeah, bad bitch hell. <laughs> Go flush that damn toilet. Y'all, I was on tour B. She shit every time before every show. And we back. What the P.U.? What the hell? 
That's B. I said she pretty as hell, but that, <laughs> go back by that dress room. No. I bet you. I bet you. Don't. I be nervous. Yeah, that's nerve. That's real though, man. Yeah. Oh lord, but yeah, I'm just. I'm You're just, a psychopath. I'm man. just not the emotional dude, but I like. I know sometimes I got to tap into it. You know, what you saying? should. Like and you will. Like the more good, you... it's a good release for me because I. But I'm not gonna. I like. I be like. All right, I did it. Mm-hmm. Right. Leave me alone. Me alone. Right. Leave I me did alone. it. I said it. Yeah, and I don't want to hear nothing else till next year. <laughs> right. <Merry> Christmas. <laughs> he like Merry Christmas is your gift. Right. You know, I got emotional. You want me to shed a tear? Now I'm here. Right. <laughs> Boom. I love you too, and I'm sorry. <laughs> like, come on, come. Why we got to get to this? And I'll be like, you got to release it. Man, fuck, fuck that. <laughs> you got to release it. I love, oh, I yeah, love you for that. Oh. Wait till, wait I love you for wait that. Wait till y'all him tomorrow. Bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I can't wait to celebrate his birthday really with him. He's such a good person, bro. Like, Aww. and the world don't know that. And go back to what you said. Like, how do we deal with, like, hardships? We. As two black men. Uh, like, imagine. Imagine. I, in the I, limelight. I, I might have missed one game over four years. Wow. I met everyone at O's games. Like, I my whole. That. I handle my business throughout the week. I know I got to go to old game on the weekend mm-hmm. or Sunday or Monday. I know that's what mm-hmm. I got going on. But it's like for him to battle injury, like two injuries, and then come back and get signed to L.A. Because we was in New York first, then we went to Cleveland, then we went to New York. I love that. I mean, then we went to L.A. We, we, yeah, we, we. you know what I'm saying? So I love that. Because every game, he like, he, he'll hold up. He'll have real beef with me if I don't be at a game. Like when I started getting more business going on yeah. and I like, I had to miss because I had to host Atlanta Greek Picnic or, or He's this. He's like, you better tell them you can't work on. He's like, game bro, days. what are you talking about? I get, why are you not in my game? Wow, wow. So he why looks are you, for you to be. Why there. are you not in my game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, I could feel when you're not there. Oh, wow. Like that's my twin for real. So like, wow. When he we, we f- fucking made it to the Super Bowl. L.A. at the Super Bowl. I love seeing that whole journey, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I Crazy. love seeing when he posted seeing that. Yeah. All of y'all. Like, I love seeing yeah. you and him. Like, I love yeah. seeing that whole yeah. journey. Imagine being in the Super Bowl, scoring the first touchdown in on the biggest platforms in the world, getting hurt. Lord. Damn near before half, right before halftime, and then having your baby in the same week. That's crazy. <sighs> That's crazy. I remember that. Too much. I remember in the that. Same week? that. I remember that. Come on, bro. That's crazy. And he's worked so hard to get so hard. to that. Yeah. That's the hardest working yeah. thing I know. So, like, that's what give me, like, yeah. always work, always go. Yeah. Like, don't don't have pity for yourself. Don't look at what everybody else got going on. Because Focus could, on you. He could look at every other fire-ass receiver in the league and be like, damn, bro, I ain't, I ain't doing that right now. Who gives a fuck, nigga? Yeah. You run your own race yep. because yeah. you are who you are. You Odell Beckham Jr. Like, yeah. You, don't you gotta, have your you own journey. Saying? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I love the village that you guys have. Like, I yeah. like seeing even his mom. Like, yeah. I just yeah. love seeing how you guys come together and really hold it down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that relationship. Seeing that relationship that is dynamic really awesome. with two black men publicly yeah. is dope. Mm-hmm. It's dope. I love that. Yeah. So tell us about your journey with music because we kind of like, say journey again. No, oh, no, like, yeah, no, I'm not her. No, no, <laughs> because we both went through that. Mm-hmm. Like going from the internet, from yeah. skits. Yeah. You still do skits, yeah. which are funny skits. Then stand up yeah. and then still being so like we're both so fucking talented with like lyrics and yeah. we were gonna put out a song once yes. together. We still gonna put out a song. I, we 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 should. We, just, we, we just should. Talk about business and that's yeah, why right, to do right. It. And music you can do at any time. Exactly. If the song is hot and you're fifty, the song is hot. Like, the thing you don't have is, to rush. and I'm gonna tell y'all this about B. She like she just talented all around, like multifaceted. Um, Thank you. Just badass, like. Y'all don't even know y'all. What y'all see is different than what like going behind the scenes, like the nervousness, the the love and the attention that goes into like giving y'all what y'all eat up every yeah, single day. Like yeah, the craft. It's, it's a it's a craft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and people yeah. don't understand that. Like yeah. it's a real deal craft. We used to be backstage, and I'm nervous as hell before I go on my set. I got like a 10, 15 minute set. B got a forty five to an hour some set. And I'm sitting there, I'm nervous as hell. I go do my set, and I'm like, I killed the ass. Now I come back in, be still nervous. I'm good to go. Right. I'm like, like, B, I'm finna get drunk. Let's turn up. I'm like, Ben. Nigga, get the fuck fuck away from me. Like, get away from me. I said, B, you good. You're gonna kill it. I felt the same way earlier. (laughs) Like, stop talking to me until I get off stage. (laughs) But if you had to choose, like, your long term goal, is it, you think music, stand up, comedy? Like, what do you truly, truly wanna do? Okay. So as when, far as you, you feel like your purpose and what you're aligned to like focus on. So when I talk about music, like it was it was a time where I was doing comedy and music and it's like Memphis. 
Sorry. Mercy. I don't know which camera looking at me. <laughs> but listen. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. okay, comedy and music is like <laughs> we we're creative. So like we love to hear like some creative shit. Yes. Like when we hear good shit, we be like, Yes. Damn, that was good. Mm. Like the pro- metaphors, do some shit the like analogies, yeah. the exactly yeah, the bars, I could probably do some like shit like this. Real lyrical shit. And then you hear us on the beat and we figure some shit out and then we like, oh, we gotta let folks hear. Yeah. We got to let folks hear this shit. Yeah, yeah. So it was a time I had so many people in my ear because I started out doing comedy and skits. And then I went to music. And then people was like, bro, you got to stick to this You're shit. You're so you cold. good, Ben. You're so good, Thank lyrically. you. And you know I love you. But um, it's just <laughs> like. so good. I get. I, I know I'm good and all that shit. And I get it. Like, I really understand. I, I, I understand how to put words together. Like, yeah. I just get yeah. it. Yeah. I get what, what's going to entice you. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? The wordplay. Yeah, yeah, I get what's going like, to entice you. It's hard, yeah. On my last freestyle, I said, I ain't Michael B. I've been pushing P, but you can't lower me or worry me. But I know a piece of pussy that been boring me. Come on. A foreign thing. Put it in the draft <laughs> and threw on the team. Flawless diamonds. I got OCD. I got to keep shit clean. Mm-hmm. Like, I it's, know that's it's going. Wordplay. Yeah, it's just, you that just playing around hard. with words. And you make people, like, if you can make, I'm, I'm a hard ass, like, critic. So if I can make myself be like, hmm. <laughs> I used face. to do that with my freestyles, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah. I'd be like, I can't wait till Freestyle <laughs> Friday. Please pull up his so freestyles. Yeah, yeah you can pull, pull up my old shit. Pull up, pull up all me and Okay, so when are we getting in the studio with y'all? What? Let's do Very, it. I, I, I hope before the end of the year. No. I hope before the end of the ne- year. We ne- can do some. Next year, early next year. Mine, before the end of the year. Like, it don't got to be nothing deep. Like, we really that type of talented. Wait, like, next we're time we're in LA, you set up a studio. Easy. You or we pull up to Miami. Okay. Or we come to Miami. You ain't saying nothing to me. You ain't saying nothing. Okay, but look, so I get a lot more satisfaction out of people being like, me and my family and my mom and my best friends, we was up dying at your videos for hours, bro. Like, bro, you don't understand. That like, you yeah, more. More than a nigga saying, bro, you hardy. Fuck. Mm. Bro, you hardy. Fuck, mm. bro. <laughs> Thanks. Like, thank you. Thanks. I, yeah. What is that, though? Why feel, do you feel like yeah. you get more Because I'm, I'm from... so intuitive. Like, I told you, why can't play fool? Fool can't play wise. It's like, I know as, uh, from the black community, like, how we, like, Tear need each other that. down. We need we need light and darkness. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I could listen to Shyster all day. I could listen to so and so, so and so, and that shit just make me want to, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Slide and be on yeah. bullshit when yeah. I'm really just a cool ass nigga that just want to spread positivity mm-hmm. and love. Right. Like, but that music and but that, that hard music make you yeah, that make you be like, 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 like I might slide up on an op, kill his head. And, like, oof. why am I thinking it? Why is why that? Is that my, why do I love why this do, song? Why am I fucking with this? Come get it back in blood, nigga. What? Like I, Kodak like, Black said, I'm, like, I'm the one that killed Lil Fooly and, and what? what? I killed him. And what? Do you know what killing is? <laughs> that is a that is one of the worst sins. sins. He said, I'm the one that killed Lil Fooly and, and what? what? Did he go to jail? That song, when that song comes on, niggas be like, I'm the one who killed Lil Fooly and, and what? what? Like, I'll be like, I say it too. And I killed Lil Fooly <laughs> and, and what? what? Fortney. That's crazy. That is one of the hottest songs right now. Exactly. But, but I get to your point. Wait, but did he kill? Was it real? It's and just what? rapping. It don't matter if it's real or not. It's, it's just rapping. It's just rapping. It We're not in, about to. It's I know, but I'm, world no, I'm just makes, saying like, well, why would you, why are we like even. Because it's we're brainwashed. It's something. It's like that. Make like uh, you just look over that line. It's already been pre. This shit programmed, been pre-programmed for years. before us. Yeah, yeah. Before us, we wasn't even thought about. Yeah. This is just for the for black sure. community for yeah. alone. Yeah. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Yeah. But like you said, the the enjoyment of making somebody laugh, opposed yeah. to being like, man, that and shit. Why was- do this is the thing that I that I get frustrated about with our people and like yeah. our culture? Yeah. Is that we want to adopt principles and practices only in the positive. All right, you guys, really quick. I'm about to put y'all on to these leggings. There's something about looking good in the gym and being comfortable. But let's be honest, it's hard to find leggings that look as good as they feel. But now Nike has created just the pair, the Nike Go leggings. I get it. Whether I actually make it to the gym or not, I want to look good and feel good in my leggings. I know that's so important to you, Bessie. But girl, Nike got us. The new Nike Go leggings are crafted with smooth and finalock fabric for that locked in feeling. It's the compressive feel you want without all that squeeze. It even has an extra wide waistband, y'all, and a hidden draw cord. Nike Go leggings are designed for everybody's type. They even have, hold on, listen to this, six 
pockets, enough for your phone, your keys, your credit cards, and more. Listen, as a mom, I can definitely say I need all the pockets. When I'm out with my kids, they're always handing me stuff. <laughs> so six pockets is exactly what I need. Yes, you guys. And also, these firm support leggings are made to get at your toughest workouts without slowing you down. They go so hard at a workout class and they stay put while you're running, but they're also comfy, flattering, and a fit you can wear all day. We want our KFS fam to go get your go-to leggings right now at Nike.com. Yes. Love you guys. Back to the show. Like everybody's on this manifestation shit, but you talking about I'll pull up on an op, come get it in blood, da 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 da. That's you can't say vibrations. I always knew That's I like was a, gonna make it. I've been talking about this. I always knew this was gonna be my life. Like I manifested this, okay. And then you're talking about killing and shit. Yeah. That's manifestation too, I'm good like that or energy bad. You're inviting. It's that, both. What yeah, saying it, what comes out of your mouth, it, listening to it. Yeah, the tone. yeah, the That's tone out of the, the out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. A and life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. And so, like, if no we are, cap. how do we say these things in a positive way? You can't only manifest for good. And life and death only. is in the power of the yeah. tongue, period. Life and death. <laughs> Duality. There's both. Yeah. And you can't be yeah. like, oh, like, I it's love just my a song. People. It's entertainment. Yeah. It's not, yeah. y'all. You can yeah. say that. Yeah, that's not yeah, like yeah. that is strategic. Yeah, it's that strategic. is a strategy, a tactic to kill us. Why yeah. are we so drawn to it though? That's that's the big question. That's the big mm. yeah. Why? Let's get into like why mm. are we so drawn to it? I don't it's know. If I an Every time Shiesty drop, I'm listening. Like, what he gonna say? He said, "I still got gunpowder on me. I'm fresh off a of drill." Jesus. I still got gunpowder on me. I'm fresh off a of drill. Jesus. Jesus. And you love it. That's your favorite rapper. <laughs> Who what? is your favorite rapper? You better not say him. It's gonna be sh like it's gonna. He like <laughs> He's like, I'm the shy. problem. <laughs> free shyster, man. Free shyster, free. No, but like it's it's sad. It's because not, I know. No, don't free him. I, but I know, no, I know where he come from. Like, and I get it. Maybe that I think that's that is thing. a part of it. it the is. relatability yeah. to it and understanding and having compassion and being like, but it has to be a point in time where. You stop that lifestyle yeah, yeah. and move forward. It's, as, I think it's about understanding, seeing things in the world. So, like, imagine if I didn't have military parents and I was just stuck in Memphis. Or traveling mm -hmm. with, oh. Yeah, or, exactly. Yeah. All that shit. But being being able to get out of Memphis is a whole exposure. In exposure. You know what I'm saying? So, imagine niggas who stuck there every day. They ain't That's seen outside their neighborhood. Right. Like, I never seen South Memphis when I was in when I was in Memphis. Wow. All I seen was North Memphis. Like, that's all I knew. Wow. Raleigh. Wow. wow. The Barley area. Like, all, all I seen was North Memphis. Like, the Bay, all that. That's all I seen. So, like, when I'm grown now and I go back to the M, I be like, bro, this South Memphis, like, Wow. I ain't know nothing about none of this shit wow. over here. Wow. Wow. It's exposure. It's They're exposure. not exposed to anything exactly. else but that life. That's exactly. their reality. Yeah. It's and I feel like I'm all for storytelling. Because yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. tell me the story. Tell me yeah. the journey. But I think that we need to take accountability and responsibility on saying, like, hey, this is the a truth. part of my life. But this, this is yeah, but I, I don't live this life anymore. I'm trying to get out mm -hmm. of it or I have to heal and yeah. grow from and let it that or... and let my expression of what I how I used to live encourage you that you don't have to live like this anymore either. Right. It needs right. to be like a conversation. Right. And we're not talking to each other, right. we're just like feeding each other bullshit all day. Yeah. That's you know? cool to say, but then for a nigga like Shice or somebody else, money back anybody. This what the this what the the population is eating up. I, that's that's what I'm saying. That's what but I'm saying. Why? Common. But, nobody listen to common. Or right. or the motivation or right. yeah. city. She's, yeah. a, she's a bomb yeah. lyricist. Yeah. Nobody exactly. listening. Yes. Like, that's not, it's yes. not fair. Nobody wanted to hear the Kendra Wack. Kendra's new be, album. Nobody's exactly. selling out yeah. arenas. Exactly. Yeah. Tierra Wack should be selling out fucking arenas. Try but it. but when I'm like even so they feel like they have to do it to be that successful I, I, that I think is interesting the people in our culture that look like us that are on that positive ass shit you want to know who and they sell out arenas but you want to know who's in there white white people. kids white kids mm. Asians here y'all go mm. do you know what I'm saying I go to a Kendrick <laughs> concert and I see white I see black people but I see white mainly white people <laughs> for sure and and he's talking about like Kendrick's last album like. Different. So what? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What are we talk like yeah. that? Talk yeah. about that. Well, ask the kid in Memphis if he heard that. He'll never tell you he heard nothing. Like all they hear is what they hear. Wow. What's cool? You got to think about the the kid who who in middle school, high school, ninth grade in Memphis in the hood. What what is cool? What what, what gets is him the cool? girls? What's who is everybody looking at? Who having a great time? It's the trappers, the dealers, and the killers. We just talked so about that. So then who's then then who's 
who has to take the lead? Like whose responsibility is it to fix it? They start in home. It, yeah, they start in, yeah home. Sure. in the home. They start in home. But now yeah. that's fucked because it, parents are, kids on are having Instagram. kids. Yeah, babies are having yeah. babies. And it's it, like we said, it's all this shit been pre, yeah. it's pre-programmed. They zone off hoods for where the black red minority. Lining, yeah, red, like, red lining real. is a real fucking thing that nobody talks that about. Nobody red talks lining, about. And, I, and, it's, and that is a ma- can red lining that? is a major thing. So we can basically, go into it. yeah. Basically, and I don't, I'm not like I know about it, but I'm not like super well versed. But like. Basically, your city mm-hmm. will literally like zone off certain areas. Like, remember when I every told you major city in Columbus? Mm-hmm. Remember where I showed you my neighborhood? Oh, like you're like it stops right I here. I said, and then you cross the street, and it's German Village, which is nice gentrification. Gentrifi- all that, yeah. Like it is the the taxes are different over there. The access that you have to things are different. Police, all because of policing. policing. Wow. Everything is all redlining. Wow. And it li- like how you vote. Wow. It's already oh, zoned off. It's already zoned off. It's been zoned off. Wow. You go to Pittsburgh, you go to Memphis, you go to Atlanta, everything has been zoned off. And it shows you coloring wow. in every Yo. single city. This is where the blacks will stay. This yep. is where the minor- minorities, minorities will yep. stay. Blacks and Mexicans, Spanish is really what it is. Yep. Wow. Yep. So like in, in Miami, you got Overtown, you got certain little small spots that this is where the black Jamaican Haitian African American yep. and Spanish people wow. will live. This why is do you where think there's certain wow. things there? That's why you see a liquor store on every corner. On churches every corner. and liquor stores. Churches Ooh. and and uh, on, pay now. cash advance Just want you to depend on bail that. bonds. Oh bail bonds. Uh, bon, uh, it's all the same pawn shit. Pawn shops and any, sh- any, cash your check right here. Any, you stole something? Come to the pawn shop. Yep. Wow. Yep. We buy it. We'll buy it. Wow. Come on, bro. Like but you don't see that shit cycle. in the. You don't see that shit in the. To keep you right there. It's not nothing. You gonna be like, hey, this is. They're fucking us right here. No, nope. we don't. We don't register that. We just know this is what the hood looks like. Yep. In every hood, they'd be like, "Yeah, we we all pretty much got the same common shit." Yep. Yeah. You know why? That's because it's been pre-programmed. Strategic. Right. It's strategic. Horrible strategic. food. It's strategic. <laughs> yeah, horrible food. Y'all want soul food? Go to the hood. Man. Yep. Yo, don't your die. cholesterol gonna be high. Kendrick said that. Kendrick said, I, I, he said, I basically killed everybody at a picnic and it wasn't no guns. Mm. I fed my people bad Diet. food. Mm. Diet. I killed my people with bad Diet. food, bro. Diet. It ain't just the guns. Yeah. It's, their, it's, it's our mentality. mentality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have got to fix our mentality. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if is it just we're fucked? <laughs> And that's just what it is? No. It has to be like a slow, gradual process. Yeah. It, it's the it, same it's, thing with racism. Like, it's all just a slow, Yeah. This stuff is going to be better well after we're gone. Mm-hmm. Like, it's continuing the conversation, continuing waking people up to at least see it. I'm not expecting you to change your life like Awareness. this automatically. But mm-hmm. at least if you be see aware, it bro. and you're aware yeah. of it, you can... Look at it different. And Some if people you aren't even aware. Exactly. The bail is still and over. That's the problem because we could be aware of it and 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 still indulge a little not bit. Not even indulge. You're knowing. Yeah, you like, know. Yes. I'm still gonna fuck up some soul food. Right. That's not the problem. But <laughs> I know sure. that I need to get back on my business. Right. On the other right. end. Okay. Right. This is just a treat. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm gonna eat healthy the rest of the this week. This is I'm not gonna... what we eat because we're black people. Right. We don't just right. eat this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right. right. No. Right. Enjoy this shit and go fucking make sure you take care of your vitamins, your right. everything right. else. Balance. And, right. and it's knowledge. Right. Because if you don't know, knowledge is power. Like mm-hmm. we know that. Period. If you don't know better, you're not gonna do better. You don't know no better. Like I don't know. My grandmama don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. she yeah. knows what she's been cooking yep. for 20, 30 yep. years. My family yep. is from Mississippi. They were cooking chitlins. Yep. And she said, yep. baby, what, what you mean you don't eat swine no more? You don't eat pork. Grandmama, I just don't eat it no more. Like, right. that's just, I just don't I do just that. I just don't right. I don't right. want it. <laughs> baby, you, I don't know what they doing to you in Miami. <laughs> what do you mean? What they're doing to me? Like, <laughs> I'm waking up. You want me to eat some shit that's going to kill me? No. Kill me. Like, I'm just good. But like, yeah. it's just, it's really just, it's knowledge. The awareness. Yes. At least being aware. Like and you be, said, you can, you don't have to indulge in certain yeah. things. You can be in certain environments and be aware and exactly. know and see what Look the fuck is. Look at the traps. Look at the traps. Find That's the true. traps. Like when we were at that damn lounge. <laughs> what lounge? I had it? a lollipop hookah tip. Jesus. And now I didn't went and bought a damn hookah. That was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I literally the next day, the next day went and bought an entire house. hookah. Like she had system. never done hookah. Really? Never. 
Hookah Levi. It is. It's, it, but I'm saying, though, like, it's, I, don't, don't beat yourself up about that. But you know what Shut I'm up, saying, man. though? Yeah. I was like, don't beat yourself it was up a about trap. That. I'm like, no, bro, I will literally be, like, I get why niggas just be at a hookah lounge. All day. Or ha- they have it at their house. They literally make it all day. That's all so day. bad for you. Literally all stuff day. that just all keeps day. us, like, Trap. Yeah, trap. Busy. Busy. You're just busy yeah. doing nothing. I want you to focus busy on killing this yourself. because there's focus a larger on, there's a larger thing at hand and I don't want you to Focus on turning that. up, focus yeah. on booties, focus on ass, focus on sex, the way you look, focus like on this, sex, yeah. focus on alcohol, focus on drugs, focus Speaking on Speaking of ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I love your teeth, man. I know you have a so great smile, yeah. I would have I would have uh you know what I'm saying I would have came flawless, but I ain't wanna it's Okay. Jesus. Memphis. Memphis. He's Big saying girl. I would have came with all of my teeth iced out, but I didn't want to do that according to the platform I was going to be on for you viewers. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to the news. I don't want y'all to think I'm on no vacation. Oh anyway, so speaking of, we, we had a conversation earlier about um, Bozzy, body, oh. body positivity. Bozzy. I was like, body positivity. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Yeah. Body positivity. And we were talking about how um, a lot of people like criticize us for our weight loss. Mm-hmm. Like I lost. They criticize y'all for your weight loss? What? what? B, you been killing their ass too. And I got to say that I don't know you that would be big. Every since I seen you've been, you been you. petite She's good. She's lost how much? I was 170 and like. Ain't no way in hell your little ass was 170. <laughs> Show me a picture. <laughs> right now, Show camera. It right pull now. it up. I don't give a damn about the camera. Pull it up. Yeah. Um. So See, keep going. You can still I talk. but yeah. And it never happened. So I'm not even going to do so, it. So, um. <laughs> Hold on, so what would they be saying, though? Okay. Oh. <laughs> she just, I always do that, and production never picks it up. So what the fuck am I doing it for? <laughs> I always be like, the picture's right here. And it's never there. It's never there, so. Let me see what's going on. So what, okay. like, um. You want to see my weight loss? Journey? Yeah, but I want to know, like, what, so what, how do they make, how do they try y'all? Oh, they're this? like, you should have stayed. No more weight. Yeah, I like you better. I like better, you better. Thicker, yeah. you look a mess, you're getting too skinny. You're getting you're, too big. Or it's you're just, like, the most negative shit when you change your lifestyle. I don't get it, but. Yeah, it's it's like overwhelming. That sounds like it'll be one or two comments versus you look I mean, great. Versus it's a lot. Really? Yes, a lot. It's it's you know it's like the ten percent of negative comments. Yeah, but it's definitely most you know supportive. It's it's but a lot of them are like, bitch, you're too skinny. What? So, yeah, it's, like, it's I'm that healthy. a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like, mm, I'm trying to live. <laughs> I was overweight. Let's see what you got going. Don't give me no damn TikTok. Give me a TikTok. <laughs> well, it's just a Look at the video. So this can... was you when you was 170 something? I don't know where it's what at. Is it the Watch the beginning. Go to the beginning. It's a video. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was she was <laughs> on some dumplings or something. <laughs> she had a couple bit uh, you like, yeah. That, that's Shut busy. up, Ben. <laughs> He's like, okay. Oh, let me start the motherfucker over. Okay. No. <laughs> ben. Okay. Now I get what you okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, just a second. This episode is brought to you by Clinique. Yes, meet Clinique's first foundation designed to be the last step in your skincare routine. Even better, clinical serum foundation is formulated with three serum technologies that visibly reduce dark spots, brighten, and hydrate your skin. You guys, this oil-free 24-hour true color wear is amazing. In eight weeks, skin appears even more toned, radiant, smoother, And even after moving your makeup, your skin is going to feel and look amazing. It doesn't just cover it up. It completes your regimen by visibly correcting, hydrating, smoothing, and all of the skin looks better and better. Available in 42 (laughs) shades. Find your shade with Clinique Clinical Reality Shade Match Science Virtual Try On. I love this foundation. I love a buildable coverage foundation. Yes. I love to be able to wear it light or wear it heavier. If I need a little bit more coverage, it does that. And even after I'm done, my skin looks and feels amazing. And I love it because I have oily skin and it is oil free. Don't call it makeup. This skincare is just your shade. Find your shade this holiday season at Clinique.com. Back to the conversation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We were that paid. ain't nothing but yeah, you was just fed. That's what when they say and when you go to Black Fall, they say she she eat good. Yeah, that, you weren't bad though. So I was okay, so anyway, I was 170 and I lost weight, B lost weight, mm-hmm. B lost 30 pounds, and we've had a lot of people have comments or whatever. But we were talking about the whole BBL. <laughs> women are 
that was a big trend. And mm. now women, like Kim K's getting skinny now. And women are like, oh, shit. I can be skinny. Or like Koi Ray, And, you know, like That's people. That's being a thi- thing skin, now. So I can um, be a little. Little Baby had an interview and said, yeah, like, yeah. I like skinny girls now. Yeah. I like models. I'm on my model shit. I like skinny. Is that a thing with men? Like, that's a, do y'all. Like, is that, what is that? Do you that? change what you like with the trends? Um, like, is it just like, oh, asses are lit now. I like asses or the Vogue thing, models. The are, thing is, yeah, a lot of people are influenced by, by the media. Yeah. Mm-hmm, so, yeah. like, when it comes to me, like, I feel like I've been living in Miami so long. I done seen the transition of BBLs from, like. The beginning. Yeah, the beginning. Because that's where everybody before was Before motherfuckers was getting yeah. BBLs. Like, I know a bunch of girls before they got BBLs, who they were now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's. It's it's a tr- you it used to be a girl got a BBL she was like like the that was a big one. yeah the only one yeah now it's cleaning ladies who got BBLs Jesus. Wow. and while they wiping your cabinets you'd be like <laughs> <laughs> you might want to come up off some ass because you 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 want a tip <laughs> you ain't working for thirty dollars <laughs> Maria <laughs> <laughs> nigga start pulling these drawers down. Come on, come on, sit it on me. No, 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 Spanish. Yeah, she, no, got, no, she got comment in her hand. Huh? Yeah. She don't know what the hell going on. Yeah, you yeah, can't get but, your yeah. head bent over, Maria. You keep playing. But yeah, so it used to be like a special thing to get a BBL. Now, literally, the lady at Subway got a BBL and the lady clean my house got a BBL. Wow. 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 And it's like, like what is, what what is, is the, happening? What do you want to happen from it? What, is it self? Like, is it, I'm going to ask like from a female thing. Like, is it self? I think it's men. I think it's men society in yeah. acceptance with society and trends. People and hop on no trends. self love. Yeah, truly. You no know love. how mad I would be too if you ever went and got some shit I done. I would never. I'm exactly, now. but that's why I love you. But I mean, I'm I've saying, had those thoughts. Yeah, of course you, you know, have. On like damn, Look, we got money now. <laughs> you, know, you, <laughs> that. I, you want me that booty? I don't <laughs> care. No, for sure. Exactly, but like you don't but like, bro. Like, no, like I don't. We were talking about that. Like you should never change your body for a fucking trend. Now, if you truly want it for you, I'm not against. That's what girls surgery, say, though. But but titties. I don't think I don't think they be wanting it for them. I think they be wanting because it so they you get, get you're that. You're still attention. unhappy. Yeah, you're still unhappy. You still don't like it. You go back for four, six, seven, eight exactly. rounds. Now yep. you're trying to take it out. Now you're trying to. What do you truly want? Exactly. Not what society tells you you need. What do you want? You but know? what do men? Not what do men want. But like, is it like you said? Like, I see BBLs all the time. So, like, are guys attracted to that, or are they more attracted to a woman that's a natural body and just is? Um, like, what do you when see you've from, been like, there, when you've been there? You yeah, think? personally, when you've been there, done that, like with everything and anybody. It's like I like just natural, like beauty, like yeah, just yeah. great beauty. Like mm-hmm. I don't want you don't got to do no extra. I like when a girl wake up. In the in the morning, slob on her face, and she wake up still look good. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. and that's the per that's the true person that you got to deal mm-hmm. with versus somebody the who who person. you got to elbow out her booty so it even out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like it's been some models out here. I don't had to You're help. Like, Jesus, jeez, like, <laughs> jeez, <laughs> Louise. <laughs> now this you side of the and then some of it's spilling in your leg. <laughs> no, for real, Jesus. Oh, where? In the back? <laughs> like, yeah, you know, when they get their body done, they can't, like, sit down, like, for on their butt time. for a long time yeah. because then it'll start shaping yeah. in the form yeah. of, like, the seat and the chair. Yep. That's why some booties ain't round. They, like, got a little what? octet, like, the half of a stop sign. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. And you got to constantly, like, massage that shit out because they done moved all the juice fat from their stomach. With so many BB. Look at you. Wow. I don't How know do shit. I mean, <laughs> might be giving up the day. <laughs> JJ, listen, I don't know nothing. I'm just saying, like, if I if I knew something, this is what would be going on. You got to massage it out and make sure it's even out because, bro, like, in the long run, they, and girls were covered up with clothes. Yeah. So when them clothes come yeah. off, yeah. Ooh. the back of that thigh, if you ain't did no damn. Ooh. <laughs> it's that bad. Yeah, it's bad. It's yeah, not it's just, funny, but he's it's, an idiot. Yeah, it just ain't. It just ain't good. It ain't good. Like it's I, not I never, necessary. But I never took not like that serious. Like I would never, like be like, yo, this my girl or like wow. any. I would never. 
And that's the type of nigga I am. See? And the niggas do you I you hear that with your men yeah, and friends? Yeah, my nigga yeah. Wow. ain't gonna do that. Yeah. Stephon Diggs ain't gonna do that. Yeah, like, you see you know Lolo, what I'm saying? Like, natural. Just, come on, everything's just natural. Like, yeah. obviously, if a girl wanna go get her titties done, well, that's, 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 yeah, that's know. completely different, though. I'm still don't on that train. That. So, you still, you feel the same way? I have three boys that breastfed all day. Yeah, exactly. So, if I want my boobs done, that should be fine. Exactly. Boobs are boobs. But when it comomes to that body, and then you wanna act like you a damn trainer, and it, Talk you might get it. into it. No, that's Talk about no, it. that's really fucked up. That's it's fucked up. That is fucked. You give him false. Oh, come on. That I is ain't. fucked up. That I is. Not, that is. I fucked do not up. Fuck I don't with like that. this shit, bro. You done got your body done, and now you're selling a workout program. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Y'all need to stop doing that dumbass shit for money. I'm talking about before and after. These young ass girls really thinking they can look like y'all. No. Maybe genetics. Or if I am you never gonna have hips. If you're gonna do a workout program, cool, but don't lie. Right. They right. all lie. Right. Just be right. like, I got my body done and this is how you maintain it. Let's go. Right. Maintain right. that body. Maintain it. Because there's a lot of bitches who don't maintain yeah. it. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of girls who go yeah. get their body done yeah. and I'll be like, Yeah. The shit is fucked up. That you're leg bigger, you're bigger now away. than you were. You just got a tight, Jesus. big body. Jesus. Your body's big and tight. And then some of the girls <laughs> be getting their body done, head still swollen. <laughs> Ain't no way your pit bull head is still swollen. Oh, this Yorkie body. Yes. <laughs> talking, about, talking about what waist? What <laughs> head? <laughs> that head. No, for sure. 100%. Yeah. For sure. You have a it's fat face. That is fucked up. This is round. This, this is round. And then up under here, you know you know how it get. Come on. But and your, and wa- your waist is snatched. Ooh. It's something ain't right, Aunt Lady. <laughs> And we're gonna get off that because I love. I no, love it's like, like we're gonna get off that. No, because but that's the thing, is though. What, like, if I had a daughter, this is what she would be seeing. Mm-hmm. That's scary. And you need to hear a man say, Imagine what this does to the I, youth. Seriously, that's what I'm saying, but they need to hear a man then, like you say. You would be devastated if she was like, I want to BBL at 16. No, like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? But as me, as being, but as like that you father, said, you know, I'd have been in still like. You need a man to hear a man say that. Like, I want y'all to hear it from me, like a nigga who, like, Really know what's going on. I'm out here like it's and don't get me wrong. It's some niggas who like all that big fake booty, big yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you want somebody to truly like to truly yeah, wife, I'm not gonna wife nothing like that. I promise you. Yeah, I don't know know what camera I need to look. I ain't wifing none of that. Yeah, so you might can if if you getting your if you getting your body done, just know your sex, your sexuality and and lusting is gonna go up. Mm -hmm. As far as you getting true love and true respect, it's not gonna happen. Mm So I don't want you to have a false like assumption of what your That's attention, point, your man. attention and That's lust is going to go up. That's a great point. And they don't even want that. They don't. You, you want don't. Love. Want, you want love. You, you want really want somebody who loves who you. Cares about you. Yep. You don't even exactly. want. And that. now you didn't got your body done, and you attracting all these niggas that only give a fuck about fucking you. About the way you nothing look. on your back. Jesus. Then I don't even want you to turn around. <laughs> Not on that back. Yeah, I'm gonna tell it to you raw. Not on the back. I don't want to see you, baby. Cause you wanted to get that body done. That's what we want. I want to see your ass. Yeah, we gonna. See I don't want to see your face. Jeez. I don't want to know your mind. I'm trying to see that ass. And Ooh. then I, and then you ain't got to worry about me going warming up the towel. I'ma throw it on your back. Get that off of you. <laughs> your Uber outside. <laughs> your Uber, <laughs> baby, get on up. Ladies, if you're fucking with a nigga and he does not warm up a towel for you, yeah. no, seriously, you need to not. That my dad taught me that. He's supposed to like my caress dad, you with my the dad, towel. My dad said, yeah. do not ever. He said, if you have sex with a man and he does not go up, get up and go get you a towel and clean you off. Wow. Then do not fuck with that nigga. That's, my dad that's told crazy, me that. Wow. I don't know why. We, like, I know that. My I don't dad know if told nobody that. told me that. Know that. I just know that. That's like. Wow. That's like you're supposed to open the door for a girl. Like you're supposed to like my do dad, this. Yep. So nice. My dad said that I he was like, do not. Have sex if that nigga just that. lays there and waits for you to <laughs> clean him up, do not fuck with that nigga. Wow. Yeah. Yep. See, that's a good point. I didn't know that. Fuck with me, bro. That's, yeah. Well, I have no, for me, sure. Bro. I ain't had sex in a year and yeah. a half. So the next guy, you're out there somewhere. Just you know she be pooping too now. You <laughs> might be. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> no, man has literally seen me. Bro, I shit. love you, bro. Like, yeah, for sure. Like, bro, we all do that. Like, uh, JJ, she don't, she hate talking about like shit, like boo booing and shit. I be like, you in there boo booing? Stop. I don't do that. <laughs> you a goddamn lie, because I done caught you before. Still? She act like she don't do it? No, but that's just but you like have to the keep type some of person. Mystery. You, wanna, you don't want to. I, I only caught my mama boo booing one time my whole life. 
really? missed the bus. <laughs> had to double back home. She I was said, on Mama, the toilet. She ain't hear me. I came. She said, "What are you doing here?" I said, "Mom, what the hell is going on?" <laughs> Oh hell no! She said, "Get the." She was mad as hell. She said, "Get the hell out!" Yeah, but I finally called her. I think I was in eleventh grade. Oh my gosh! So I have a are, you oh, go huh? are you close yeah, to your parents? Yeah, yeah, are you close? Yeah, yeah, I'm very close. Are you still together? Yeah, my oh, dad yeah, too. I see your dad is cute. That nigga, that nigga, cut the fuck up. Yo. And he with your mama? Nah, they not together. He still be warm though, but yeah, Aww, nah, don't nah, be putting him out there. Yeah. I shouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, be wanting to know. He married no, already. Jesus, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> my parents had a whole Jesus. conversation. Remember, I told yeah, you about my parents. Yeah. They had a whole conversation. They're both in different relationships and happy. Yeah. They had a whole conversation. My dad and my mom talking about my dad. Stop switching the drink. You ain't sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yo. My dad says on the phone <laughs> on a Facetime. I ain't gonna lie. Your mom has some fire ass pussy. I ain't gonna lie. Oh to hell you. no! I was like, I'd be like, Daddy, squirrel. <laughs> yeah. My mom, my mom is a saint, nigga. She ain't never fuck nobody. He said the one time my bro. He, he said, he said, he said, you know, Yvette. My dad says this. He goes, Yvette, let me tell you something. He's like, you always loved me. You was always there for me. I never that one forget. Time, I never forget that one time when my auntie died. You gave me some fire ass pussy that night. <laughs> I said, He's like, that really healed my heart. He said, that really meant a lot to Wait, me. Wait, what? <laughs> All right, you guys, really, really quick. We're about to put you on to something just like we always do here at KFS. I don't know about you, but our diet and health comes first to us. Please don't ignore your dietary needs, guys. Over 97% of women age 19 to 50 do not get enough vitamin D from their diet. 95% don't get their recommended daily omega-3s. I didn't even know that. But look, Ritual took things to the next level just like we do here at KFS. They invested in the gold standard for research, which is a university-led clinical trial to study the impact of their essential multivitamin for women 18 and up. Yes, the results were an increase of vitamin D levels by 43% mm -hmm. and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. Listen, guys, wow. there is no shady stuff with Ritual ever. They use traceable and vegan-friendly ingredients that always have clear communication so you know exactly what's in your multivitamin and where it comes from. You guys, we wake up every day and take our multivitamin every morning. And my favorite part about this multivitamin is it does not upset my stomach. I feel great after taking my daily dose every single day single morning. Right now, Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off your first three months. That's for you, you guys, our KFS family. So visit ritual.com slash KFS and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off at ritual.com slash KFS. Back to the show. But but you know what? I this think, is a FaceTime conversation with my parents. And she's this is how they talk to But I think that's beautiful. Like you said, your parents, you're so close to them. That Having that relationship, she's an adult now. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I mean, it ain't like she's 15. Yeah. She's grown yeah. as hell. She got her own kids. She's married. But having that. Got my own kids. Just leave it there. See, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Megan Jeez. is only today. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave it I'm sorry. You're okay. Thank you. I have to start watching my dog. Y'all be on a podcast like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. I'd be like, all right, cut it down. Go to the girls. I say, I say, be so deep. Mm. Every five seconds. Jesus. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I'd be in the crib word. dying, Jesus. bro. <laughs> Jesus. But I said all that to say it's beautiful to see that dynamic, even though her parents aren't together. They yeah. still love and respect each They're other. They're a team. Yeah, They're a my team. parents are the same way, bro. Yeah, I love that. They're the same way. That. You That's, talk to your mama lately? Yeah. Dad, if you miss her, say that. <laughs> She's fine, nigga. <laughs> She's completely fine. <laughs> She's fine. That's how my dad is. Yeah, That's my, exactly how my dad is. Could you date a girl that makes more money than you? That's gonna be tough. Mm, I love your answer. Yeah, it's gonna be your tough. Honesty. Yeah. Um. The thing is, I don't, I don't run into too many girls that make more money than me. <laughs> it's like so. I've never. Like I'm being honest. Like if, I've never been, been in that bitches, position. So. Like it ain't even about no, being saying, broke. But it's like. I, 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 hell, I would, yeah. But it would be tough. Yeah, it would be man. tough. Like yeah, because that's like. We're protectors and providers. Like, yeah. we peas. Like, yeah. we really pushing P. Pushing P. Mm -hmm. We pushing P. Mm -hmm. if, if I can't provide and you doing all the providing for yourself, then you done took half of my responsibility away. Wow. That's how you, that's how you, and now I feel like You're maybe you got to over, maybe I, in my mind, I'm thinking about how Ben would think. I feel like I got to overcompensate elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Like, I never really thought about this, but like saying it like, like giving y'all just straight off the top of my head, like, yeah. 
I would feel like I got to overcompensate elsewhere. Like mm-hmm. where? Like where do you feel like you would go? Maybe in the in like sex. Like mm-hmm. I would have to do some extra shit that I don't to, I ain't, to feel like you have to keep her. Yeah, like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Like what? If I'm not your protector, because my girl right now, it ain't nothing she can't hit me for. I, I don't need to get my nail, my hair, right. my my car, my grit, my huh. And, but you love that as a yeah, man, like that I, you can I could do that. do that all day. Like Got you. it ain't nothing. To five, ten, th- like it ain't mm-hmm. nothing. You want to go somewhere? Here go ten thousand dollars. Yeah, like I give you but a I'm dime just that for makes you. you feel good as a man. Yeah, like yeah. that. But that because I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Got you. you know but what I'm I feel saying? like women Got nowadays you. because women entrepreneurs is going like especially black women Mm -hmm. we're becoming like Mm -hmm. the number one independent entrepreneur yeah we're starting businesses we're making our own money i think for a lot of women like in our position who don't really need a man to provide financially we want to a man to provide something different like emotional like what Emotional support, yeah. Men- emotional, mental support, death, spiritual mental, support, yeah, all like that. that type of mm-hmm. but provide that. One thing I will say, going into my next relationship, whoever I date, I'm going to make sure I let them do be that. a man. Yeah, yeah let them I, be a man. Yeah, for but sure. I, unconsciously, am I saying that right? Unconsciously, yeah. I do it on accident because I have it. So I'll be like, oh, I got this. Or no. I, got this. I know. I know. Yeah. Just being nice, yeah. but not realizing that makes a man not feel like a man. Yeah, you're taking away from my my like my like chores. Like, yes. Why are you coming over here doing my chores? Yes. Mm. So I don't next, come over your shit and be right. doing makeup and helping right. you with your, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? You need to goddamn back right. up. Right. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, man. All right. Come on, you want to pay for this? If you don't. I know. Well, we ain't going to dinner no, no more. <laughs> So you want to the pay next for relationship I get in, or the next time I date, I'm definitely going to be conscious of that and act like I don't, I don't have it. Y'all, her I'm last nigga, it, like I don't have her it. Her last nigga was a good nigga. Let's get into that. Oh, oh cause he's the main one. What? Yes, it's ben. that's why I, episode, I don't like Ben. I'm- Hold on, you guys. Really quick before you go on with this episode, we have a special, special announcement. KFS Family has been getting 20% off abisamobeauty.com, but right now until the end of the year, so the rest of 2022, KFS Family will get 75% off Ooh, Abby Simone Beauty, you guys. Lip gloss, lip liner, makeup bags, necklaces, all the good stuff is 75% off the whole website until the end of the year. So use the promo code KFS75. We are making space for some new products coming for you guys next year. So we're having a sale. KFS75. Use that promo code. That's KFS75. S75 at bsimonebeauty.com. The rest of 2022, go shop. I love you guys. bsimonebeauty.com. Back to the show. I'm so That's mad. Two. Episode two of the Know For Sure podcast. It was go ben. back when I talk about my breakup. I talked to a homeboy, Ben. Ben and he was the first thing he said to me was, You left that nigga for cheating? Do you want to? If y'all want to get into it, we can. Go Please. ahead. Please. The thing because is, we about to start arguing. No, so we're not going to argue. Let's gonna keep argue. it real because we do have to wrap this episode up. We're going to talk about this though. We're not about to get on our platform and promote cheating. I, well, I won't never. The thing is, I won't never promote cheating. Okay, okay, okay. What I will promote. Okay. He's like, I'm promoting forgiveness. Second is, chances. No, it's second chances okay, because okay. everybody does. Everybody's okay. not perfect. I agree. I agree. And what I didn't agree with what you did was said he did that. It's a wrap. It's over. It's oh. She's like he's such a good person. I said I know John. I know dude. Like he played on the same team with oh. Like I know good dude. Person. Good kid. And y'all was so cute together. <laughs> but y'all do you know him? Hell. Know him or do you? Nah. Just, okay. I don't know him. Know him so but I know we like we had a good we had a good relationship. But he was keeping her happy every damn day. I know that. With lies. With lies. Per se. <laughs> he said allegedly. 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 No. It's just like. But here's the thing. I, I This sounds cliche, but really I knew that that wasn't my husband. Okay. Like God told me like, D- this is not okay. it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But some, I do believe in certain instances, certain certain relationships, there are going to be points where your significant other can make a mistake or you, and it might not be cheating. Yeah. And you do have to forgive it. Yeah, exactly. I, but I, in that situation, I'm just like. This is not the one. This yeah. is not right. This is not what I'm I'm, I'm yeah. fighting for. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. when you know it's like, okay, this was a lesson. I'm moving on. 
whatever. But that was like the one of the first time, like, even though it was like public. That was the first time I seen you like I know happy showing yeah. like outward Love. happiness, yeah. bro. Like yeah. And I, and I was so happy yeah. for you. Like I'm like, yeah. bro. He's like, this nigga so good. And I know him. And yeah. I know him. I'm like, yeah. bro, this shit just hard. He's a, like, he's a good kid. Like that my that my sister. And that's like, no, I, I know John. He's like, good kid. so I was kids. just I was just fucking like, with it. Immature. So, but I feel you. Like, but you you kind of like me. You get that intuition, and you just know like. It's not about this isn't right. Yeah, it's not yeah. about whether this he's a good person or not. Going. Yeah, yes. I, I, we have a trajectory. Yes. And if I can't see you seventy five percent all the way at the end of that trajectory, Come then on. we 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 don't even need to waste this little time yeah, right here. Yeah. Even yeah. though I fuck with you or nothing, but like, yeah, there's so many people in this world, but I can't like give you all because my time, what we got going, what Meg got going on, what B got going on, what Ben got going on. My time is so precious, precious that if I allow you in this space, Bro. I need you to take heed to this shit. Take to this heed. vision. Take Everything. Heed. What we got going on. Bruh, it's different. It's different. I'm like, the next person I date is going to damn near have to be a part of the purpose. You yeah, know what I'm no, saying? Exactly. You have to be a part of the you purpose. Have you got to be aligned. Yeah. You have to be aligned with what we're doing. And yeah. vice versa, with whatever he has doing. I have to be a part of his purpose. Exactly. We yeah. have to be purpose mates. Yeah. Like, you know, so, yeah. Because I do believe in, like, I'm all about forgiveness. And I'm yeah. all about Me too. Me too. allowing humans to be human. Like, we yeah, fuck up. We're human. not perfect. You're not perfect. Yeah. None of us are perfect. But, yeah. yeah. But... I get to choose, we have the right to choose how we extend grace and what that grace looks like for per situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if me, if I, if like we're dating and you really don't align with my vision and I know this ain't a long-term thing. Next. And you cheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't need to stay with that. Yeah. 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 Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But if it's like we in this relationship yeah. and we know that we're meant to be and yeah. maybe you made a mistake, yeah. then yeah. that's different. Yeah. But like, if I know that you this isn't- don't yeah, feel it's like, like no, this is I'm the not, person. I'm not doing um, that. Do you want to get ever. married? Yeah, eventually. Oh, good yeah. for you. Okay. I, mean, yeah. I just asked that because okay. some people don't. Yeah, some people don't. Yeah. Give That's a trend right that. now. Yeah. Don't get married. That's a trend. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not on all that shit, bro. Like you wanna, you wanna have somebody that's like your person that and like can grow old. You with grow old like, with. Yeah. I wanna like. I t I'll be telling all the time. I wanna get fat. I wanna do all of that. You like, wanna yeah. get fat? Yeah. Like I want my dad. Like cut up. He 52. And he cut the you don't fuck up. Be cut up. Man, I'm trying to get oh have a rocking chair like have oh, like grandkid <laughs> like run around. Call you me can Popeye. still be in shape. I don't, man, let me get a, I want one of the ones no, you just sit right there. Come that's on. colon. Your colon yeah. is full of shit. Come on, now Bad. we're back to the brainwashing of black people. You right. <laughs> Collard green meat, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the, I get the, the I get, Yeah, I you get the idea. Saying, it's like, just about, yeah. it's like settling down and being like, Growing man, old, I love my life. A, we had a good yeah. life. We had a we good had life. Great. Bro, I remember I told you, we was talking about like, me making my first million. I was like, B, I'm about to be a millionaire. He was like, welcome to the club. Ooh! Oh, my god! And that first one, Even the hardest to get. saying that? Yeah. Bro, I remember where we started, bro. After like, the first one, when you start seeing your account, you're like, I'm broke. Money attract money. Yeah. Like, yeah, after that, you're like, you're hold like, on. I don't have shit. <laughs> and then to know 40% of it getting took. What? I, I paid $400,000 in taxes this year. Maybe two. Year. Two. Two mems? 200 Thousand. Oh, that's lower than. Yeah, last see, year. I don't think I don't think my person could cut out everything he could have. So I need a new CPA. You need to write off the grills. <laughs> I need a new CPA. You need no, a, seriously. You need to write off everything. Yeah. yeah. So he tried, he he said I got it down to four hundred thousand. You didn't get shit down. Get down more. You didn't get shit down. Get it down more. Nothing. Yeah. It's He's crazy. talking about well, I need you to go through all the train. Yeah. Am I paying you? Or yeah. Is you is you paying me? <laughs> you go through the train. You go through the motherfucker, <laughs> and you come up with the best fucking option. <laughs> And you get that number low. And figure it out. Figure it out. I said, I got 75 k for you. Let me know what you're going to do. <laughs> let me know. Please. Let, just let me know. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. But um, yeah. People don't be thinking about that. Um, you want to be a millionaire so bad. So bad. They're going to take a lot of that money. You have no idea. The thing that I, no idea. The, they will take your shit. I'll be getting money now, and I'm like, this ain't even mine. It's, it's not mine. This ain't mine. I say, pay me in cash. Please. Please. I want hard, end. cold cash. What? I don't want nothing that can back be traced. End. Please. Lord have mercy. Please. But look, this this <laughs> this mercy. this is what I wanted to tell y'all when I came. I knew I wanted to say this. For like us, when and I, and I know we're true testament to this of this attitude that I live by. So like, there's two farmers. Okay. And both of them are going through a drought. Okay. Both of them are praying to God, please bring rain, please, please, please bring rain. Like all we, my fa my family's going through a famine. Like we we need you. Mm -hmm. But only one farmer is going out there and preparing his crops for rain to receive mm -hmm. rain. The other one is just praying as well. 
Both of them praying. Both of them believe in God. They're godly people. They're Christians. Mm. But one is only out there faith sweating and breaking his back to prepare his crops for rain. So he has the true testament of faith. Wow. Faith without work. So when the rain does come. He's ready. He's already he ready. Because he knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. Because if I put my work in up and I do my part, God is going to give me what, I, what we both believe. Yep. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I love that. So people like us who, who really handle the business and do what we love to do because Without the, we don't have to get paid a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand right, dollars to do what right, we do. Right, right, mm -hmm. We do it because we know there's a bigger calling. Right, right. You know what and I'm we saying? We know what's coming. We know what's yeah. coming. Yeah, prepare we know what's coming. And we yeah. do things that don't always have an immediate yeah. turnaround. Right, exactly. A, immediate immediate gratification. Gratification. Yeah, yeah, we do shit. And that's what's yep. difficult for a lot of people. Yeah, that's what's yeah. difficult. Yeah. We're in comedy. Yeah. What is the ultimate goal in comedy? Maybe being movies. Maybe, maybe a special. A special yeah. like. A sitcom, but, yeah, what, whatever. Yeah, what is, what is the ceiling? What's, what, what's the ceiling for you? I think big time movies. Yeah. And touring, but headlining my own tour in arenas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been in arenas, but I haven't headlined Yeah, because it's arena. a part of a show. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. it's like I'm opening for Martin. Yeah. I want to be, this is B. Simone. B. Simone, show, exactly. This is no for sure. We are in an arena. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And it's our shit. Mm -hmm. I think that, like, literally... Big time Hollywood films and shows like this shit is bigger than yeah. anything we can imagine. Exactly. We show ideas. We want to write shows. Like I'm claiming it now. This is like a production company. Yeah. Fire. We're we're producing. We're we're literally producing our own shit. We're yeah. putting I'm up here. our own money. <laughs> literally. No cap. I'll we're, fuck with it. We're producing our own shit. So it's you know, it, it's the the opportunities and the ideas are endless. You yeah. know. And it's but within us. It's within yes. us. Like y'all yes. two same motherfuckers. Without everybody here, we could be sitting on the couch. Like bro, we need to start up. You what? can start this, what? that, and third. You can fucking do you it. You literally do it. can do it. You can do it. This is all conversations that we I, had outside me, of the camera. And we had we no... We like this yeah. outside of the camera. We had no, no clue the first thing about podcasting. Nothing. We literally took it step by step. Okay, hey, let's do it. All right, let's... What's the name? Mm -hmm. All right, we got to open an LLC. Uh, we got to trademark. All right, Fire. we need a logo. Step at a we know somebody that do. A we know somebody so that do probably. podcasting and helps with like all the back end. Let's set up a meeting. Okay, have that meeting. We have like that her. contract. Let's go but with it. It's like step, step by, by step. step. You don't have to, eat, like, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Yeah. You just cannot do it. Just do start. it. So many people have problems with just like, how the fuck am I going to do all this and get overwhelmed? Bro, start one step, step at, at a, a fucking time. time. Thinking about A through Z. Yeah. Start with A. Start yeah. the trademark. How do you start think you're going to go in the gym and lose all this weight and, and be in shape and be healthy? It ain't going to happen tomorrow. Start. Nope. Start. <laughs> start. And you know, every day we be in the gym, I be like, fuck this. Every time. Every day. Every time. But then you look back, it's been two months, and you fucking shed 20 pounds. Yeah, Because mm -hmm. the time is going to pass anyway. Yep. It's going to pass, and only you can determine, deal, what that determine is, if yeah. it's going to be constructive yep. or bullshit. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yep. man. I love this shit, bro. Come on. Ben, you we, should, we, you we should come like more. You I mean, should come more. Me, if y'all invite me, I don't be feeling like y'all just really want no oh. real nigga on the <laughs> You know what I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Ben. Not obviously surprised me. This is my friend, but like I enjoyed that. I enjoyed your conversation. Yeah, yeah man, I, I love y'all, bro. Super so dope. like, and I love I, your perspective on certain things. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I play devil's advocate a lot, but I really like get it. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just intuitive as fuck. So like, yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get, I get put myself in y'all's shoes. Mm -hmm. I get put myself in my shoes. Mm -hmm. I get put myself in Shice's shoes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I just get right. it. You know what I'm saying? Understanding everybody's, yeah. everybody's life because there's, a, there's. A, 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 a ends to a means for everybody. Mm -hmm. Like everybody feels like their way is the right way. Yeah. They feel like their way and is the right way. Because everyone's experiencing things differently. Different. Like we're all here, but we're experiencing it very exactly very differently. Very. And mm -hmm. that what he just explained is what grace is. Yeah. It's yeah. just giving people grace. Like yeah. I don't have to yeah. know. And seeing it from their point of view. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Your experience is not going to be the same as everybody else's experience. And it's a difference between like a people like us once we break out of the matrix and I call the matrix like being for sure working for money, trading in your yep. time for money. Yep. That's the worst thing you could be doing. And I know I we all have before, to do it. But we, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't I didn't say that. that. I didn't say that now. But what I'm saying is like once you no, break once I you break it. yourself yeah. out of the yeah. matrix, yeah. now you have time to like fulfill oh, a, purpose. a purpose. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah, yeah. I tell people all the time, I manage a bunch of girls on, on OF. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. and and it's very lucrative. Mm -hmm. It's a seven mm -hmm. figure mm -hmm. like I it, it's going on. I don't have to be hands on every day, but I know every every month I'm gonna bring in maybe seventy to eighty thousand. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And just like not doing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now that gives me time to 
to like be free and be how can Creative. I make the world laugh how can yes. I and every little detail my little cousin he he records everything for me yeah. but we go back and forth and bounce off ideas like yeah. this yeah. is this is the small detail you have to do this yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. to cough right here yeah. you have to do this mm. right here you have to like stump, stumble over your words right here you have to yeah. and every like even when we do skits I said we have to have three punchlines and a, and a climax like mm. we have to have that mm. and the ending joke mm. but you'll never see that viewing my shit because it'll just be like, oh, oh this, this is, is funny. funny. Yeah. No, funny. this is an art. You literally have no idea it's an art. It's a, and yeah. it's calculated as fuck. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So Your shit I just, is so good. I yeah, love I just, that. I love so y'all. I just try to do different shit. If, the, if it's the first thing that comes to my mind, I won't do it. Mm. You try, you challenge your thoughts. That's just like rapping. If it's yeah. the first bar that comes to my mind, I won't say it. Say something else. I won't wow. say it. Yeah, because that means easy. anybody could come up with this. Too easy. Mm -mm. Wow. So tell them where they can find you. Uh, Y'all can find me on Instagram, TikTok. YouTube at He's Ben the so Don. So B E N D A D O three N's. Ben the Don. Man. And if we didn't hit it in this episode, what is one thing you would want to say to anybody, any black man watching, black woman watching? Like just one little. We always do what you know for sure, what you're saying no to for sure. Okay. So we want to do that. But like just like something, whether it's the words of advice, whether it's where you came from, whether it's how you made it out, whether whatever that um, is to like literally somebody watching right now. My thing, my thing is always stay focused and run your own race. We get so caught up in worrying about what X, Y, and Z doing mm -hmm. when they could be they 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 purpose is not gonna be your same purpose. It's we right. all have our own purpose, bro. Like, like if I was sitting here comparing my life to Odell when I was not having nothing, right. I would still be in a fucked up position. Right, mm -hmm. right. But I made it in my mind to be like, cause everybody who comes around is like how can I get business off of Odell? How can I do this, that, and the third? I never, there's never one time I talked to Odell about us getting, getting money together. Wow. Not mm -hmm. one time. Wow. Not one time where I was like, hey, bro, these people want to do some shit. No, wow. I'm not, I'm not coming. To, there's nobody that could come to me and be like, hey, can you ask Odell if he'll do this for it? Wow. No, I'm not no. doing it. Nothing with money will come from my mouth and be related to Odell. Mm -hmm. That's just, and that's what set me apart from everybody, everybody else, else who came into yeah. his life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because even if I was, it's been times I was struggling. I didn't have $5,000 in my name. But I'm not going to tell him that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fucking figure this shit out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then eventually, like, I've, I've found, you use, he, he's going to do stuff for you that you don't even know is going to be valuable. Yep. Right. Yep. Because the yep. networking yep. and people the just knowing you're, yeah, you're just going your round. Yep. And they see, they're, they're going to accept you because you're with him. And now they get to see Who that this are. is a great you're person. A Why does he love you? Mm, that's so And then good. once that gets relayed to the world, mm. then it starts expanding mm -hmm. and blowing up and blowing up. And now it's just like. You're your own entity now. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that has to do with my my multi million dollar business that has to do with Odell. Wow. Like, absolutely nothing. Good but for he you. gave me the the network. courage and the, the network exposure. and the yeah. and the and the and the um courage to do all this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I seen perfection. Yeah. I seen what it means to be great. Yeah. And I've been around it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So O goes to Michael Rubin and said, "This is my brother. He's hilarious. Look at this shit." Mm -hmm. Michael Rubin's mm -hmm. laughing all day. He's like, "He's good to go." Mm -hmm. It's just, I love that. it's just a blessing, bro. And I, I and that. I appreciate y'all for having me on your platform. Aww. Okay, I wait, wait. We got to do. What do you know for sure? And what are you saying no to for sure? So, what do you know for sure after this episode? And then, what are you saying no to for sure? Um, what do I know for sure? For sure, everything that glitter ain't gold. Okay, That's everything that glitter ain't gold, and all money ain't good money. That's yeah. a fact. Ooh, Jesus. Y'all was saying some shit the other day. Where y'all was talking about all money and good money, and you just can't take this mm -hmm. because we're not doing this for money. Yeah. We're doing mm -hmm. this for purpose. purpose. Mm -hmm. We're really doing this for purpose. Yes. purpose. If I, I have to say no to something, I'm saying no. I'm saying it no. Align with me. Ooh, ten thousand dollars. Thanks. Yeah. Kiss my I, ass. Yeah. 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 Keep it I'll moving. find that. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll get Keep that it moving. Yeah. We're not hurting for nothing. Yeah. We're here for purpose. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna go out here and do a, yeah. a skit or do some shit that's gonna put my name, and my brand on something yep. because you're giving me twenty thousand dollars. Yep. No. 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 It doesn't align with I don't, it. Doesn't align. I, it doesn't align. Yeah. People come to me all the time. Hey, Ben, this this brand wants to do something. They got 30000 for you. No. That ain't got nothing that to has do literally, what do What am I going to do with boxers? <laughs> um, and what and what else? What do you say no to for no sure? No to for sure. What I say no to? Um, BBLs. <laughs> BBLs. <laughs> sip and drink. I quit sip and drink. Wow. Yeah. So that's, I lost a lot of weight from doing Good that. For you. Um. I, 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 people always be like, bro, you be working out all the time and you Definitely. just, you look the same. Yeah. Oh, I stopped sipping that. It's, it's just like the life wow. we live in. Like, it's, it costs a lot of money. It's like, it, it damn near unhealthy. kill you. It's unhealthy as fuck. Me and V, V had to like really talk to me and be like, man, you don't need that. Like, now I used to use this like a creative process and do all this. 
And it's funny when when I'm like making skits and I could poke my stomach out and do that. But now like I'm in shape, I'm good, I'm healthy, and it's just like I feel I'm so better. I'm proud of you for that. I feel That's better. Awesome. You know what I'm proud saying? Of you for that. That's yeah, awesome. it just it just make you into a better person. So you, yeah. a lot of people out there, I don't know if y'all on pills, I don't know if y'all sipping drink, I don't know if, you, but we all be feeling like we need something that's just to like relax us. And you don't need that, bro. You don't. Yeah. All you need is a clear mind and a purpose. Mm. I love all that. you need is a clear, clear mind, mind and, a purpose. and a purpose. That's all you need. Get that. Yeah. Get that down. Write that My and pull your notebooks out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop that running down. from get a your clear demons, mind, your yeah. pain, and face Stop that running shit. from it. Yeah. Stop face that shit. I love that. All you need. I love y'all. Love you. Thank you. That was, I don't know. I just want to leave it at Let's that. Leave it on, man. Yeah, man. Y'all, so um, yeah, whenever y'all want me back, man, just hit my Anytime. phone. Anytime. If y'all loved Ben, put it in the <laughs> comments how much you loved him. Okay. So All right. Can I bang my set? No. Oh, we didn't do oh, We're Back. We have to do it now. What's We're Back? How we start every oh, episode, but this yeah. is the end, so. I thought you watched our show. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what show you're on? Yeah, I do. Know you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> know for sure. All right, you guys, we're leaving, but we're back. back. Hola, ¿cómo está? Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for watching the Know For Sure podcast with Ben the Don. Sure and do. we love you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag, Know For Sure Pod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag, Know For Sure Pod, on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. Keep it going. Go to the website, knowforsurepod.com, and follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, Know For Sure Pod.